Hey there, Super Coder! Today, we are going to create a super fun game in Scratch. Let's name it The Last Sashimi. Okay, cool. For this, we need one plate sprite, four food sprites, and two chopsticks. We can draw all these easily. Cool, right? Now let's dive into the coding part. Let's get started. First, we can make the plate spin. Grab the block Turn 15 Degrees and click it. We want the plate to spin from the start of the game until the end. So let's put this block inside a forever loop. Click it. Yes, our plate is spinning. Cool. Now let's put the plate in the back layer so we can arrange the food on top of it. For that, grab the block Go to Back Layer and click it. See, our plate goes to the back. Don't forget to add When Green Flag Clicked on the top. Okay, cool. Now we want the food to move along with the spinning plate. Which block do we take? Yes. Turn 15 degrees. Click it. Oh, it moves too fast. Let's make it turn 5 degrees instead. And to repeat this movement, wrap it inside a forever block. We want the food to always stay on the plate. So instead of go to random position, change the drop down to the sprite plate. Now we can adjust the position using change Y by 10 and change X by 10. Perfect. And again, don't forget to place when green flag clicked on top. We also need to fix the starting position of each food and the direction it is facing. So position the food exactly where you want. Then grab Go To to get the exact spot. Cool! Next, grab Point in Direction to fix the facing direction. Awesome! We can add the same code to all the other food sprites. Now we want different food each time. For that, we add multiple costumes to the food sprite. And right after when green flag clicked, add next costume. If we want different food to show at the same time, we can give each sprite different costumes. And each time we click the green flag, we get four different foods. Cool, right? Now let's add code for our chopsticks. We move the chopstick inside the plate and grab go to to save its original position. Click it. Oh no, that's too fast. So let's add a weight block in between. And don't forget to put when this sprite clicked on the top. We also need to fix the starting position of the chopstick. So position the sprite, then add go to under when green flag clicked. Okay, cool. Do the same thing for the other chopstick also. The only difference is we change the starting position. And this chopstick will be the bot player. So instead of when this sprite clicked, add when green flag clicked. Then wait two seconds. So every two seconds, this chopstick tries to fetch the food and wrap everything inside a forever loop. Now, when the chopstick touches the food, the food should fall down and disappear with an animation. For that, go to the food coding area and grab if touching the blue stick, then glide to coordinates at the bottom of the screen, then hide. Add when green flag clicked on the top. Now duplicate the same code, but change touching blue stick to touching red stick for the second chopstick. Cool! Copy this same code to all the food sprites. And don't forget the show block, otherwise the food won't appear again when the game starts. So that's it, Super Coder! We have created the last sashimi game. Awesome job! I'll see you soon with another fun game. Happy coding, and bye!